Hello and welcome to the cellar. In this video, I will show you how I finished another part of the of the cellar, which is arguably the centerpiece of the cellar with the two arches inside one another. It's a part I didn't want to to work on right now. I kind of wanted to leave it at the end, uh, like a cherry on the top. But due to the issue with the crumbling wall and working into the cellar, it was the next logical thing to do, easiest thing to do. I spent quite a lot of time on it. Uh, it was a bit tricky in some areas um, with the new concrete floor, the height uh, for working uh, in, in the inside arches was a bit uh, difficult, uh, not very comfortable, but nothing major, uh, no real issues this time. I tried to do quite a good job, not, not the best job. I didn't take all the time I would need to do the perfect job. I think it's, uh, it's, it's quite nice. Also, before uh, going into the time-lapse and, and montage, I wanted to say thank you to all the people who comment on my videos and uh, a special thank you to uh, Stefan and Bill who send me emails and uh, discussed with me uh, the issue of humidity, also sealant for some parts. So it's really nice, one of the perks of uh, doing um, a YouTube channel like that. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments of, and uh, helpful discussion I have with you. So now let's look at the montage.
this is the finished product. I worked carefully, step by step, um, mainly for fear of an instability in, in the main arch, uh, which I think was entirely okay uh, in the end. I tried to feel the inside, especially in this area, there was uh, quite a big void. This part, I think I could have found a stone, but it's difficult to, to stick them up there. And we are arrive at the first look at the repointed column. And I think, yeah, it's quite beautiful. And after that, I worked in the inside arch. trying to uh, manage the joints between the rock and the masonry and yeah the inside part this wall uh, was really uh, a jumble uh, i guess uh, uh, there, there was something the, the arch is going further and, and they filled it with this wall so it's not really straight um, so yeah i did what i could to to fill some voids it could be better. There is a, a bit of, quite a bit of depth in here. It's not really straight. And also, I wanted to do with something. Uh, I wanted to do something for the this kind of uh, step area, and uh, the rock is really crumbly. So I I had this idea. Uh, of laying something and I found those bricks. So those are um, bricks for, from uh, 1815, around this date. And uh, also I used some big stones, interesting stones I kept uh, from the, the pillar that was here to fill the, the void. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad with that. I, I wasn't entirely sure how to do that. It's mainly straight. Again, it's not perfect. I'm not striving for perfection. And the bricks are uh, man-made, uh, handmade, and they are all a bit uh, different and convex or concave. Uh, the only issue is the smell, uh, because are, those are uh, chimney bricks. And yeah, there is definite smell of, uh, of chimney and I add them um, in, in water to before the, the masonry and uh, the smell is really, really annoying. So I will let them dry a bit more, like a week. I will uh, scrub a bit uh, the mortar and the, and the brick and I'll see if the smell is still there. And I think it will be. Uh, maybe it's a good candidate to test some, uh, some sealant and uh, try to keep the smell inside the brick. But I really like the... Um, it, it fits uh, into the cellar. I didn't want to go and buy some uh, uh, industrial and really square bricks. I think it's a, it's a, good, uh, a good fit with the cellar. And yeah, it's a really, really nice centerpiece of the cellar, this uh, archception. I will uh, paint the rock with uh, the lime wash, uh, as I did here. I'm just waiting because, as you can see, it's uh, now all dusty. And uh, so I will do that at the end. I will wash uh, in some ways um, the, all the walls to get rid of the dust and I will do the lime wash uh, at the very end. And I think with that it will be really, really, really nice. Uh, let me show you a bit of a wider shot with me inside so you can get a, a feel of the, of the scale of the place. So as you saw in the montage, I got some of my stuff back because they were at a friend's house in his workshop. A workshop we shared with a few, a few friends. 
Uh, they had a lot of uh, work, woodworking tools. I had uh, a few uh, metalworking tools, uh, my forge and some anvils. So some of those tools are still at a friend's now, but I, I had to, uh, to store a few of mine uh, back uh, into the cellar. So it's a bit of a mess right now. Uh, I still have some condensation in here. So you guys were absolutely white, I think. I think it's condensation. We can see some, some drops in the floor. This part is really cold um, compared with the warm exterior air. So obviously uh, the air that uh, come in, comes in here condensates on the walls and the, the floor. So I will have to, to think really carefully about that. Um, I will have to balance the need to remove the radon air from the cellar and the, um, also trying to not get too much humidity in the cellar if I want to remove it with some uh, dehumidifier. But that's really something for the next part. So I haven't decided yet where I'm going to work next um, because the stair is in a way. So at some point I will need to, to remove it. It's not a big issue. Uh, I'm just trying to, to see when it will be the most uh, uh, advantageous to remove it because I have agreed uh, to have some contractor um, uh, fix this wall and they are coming in in uh, mid of September and they are also going to uh, uh, pierce a hole for another uh, ventilation access and also they are going to shave a bit of this uh, vault so I don't know if they would prefer the stair to be in or not uh, anyway I could uh, work in this area broadly under the stair or maybe I will work in this part. I could of course work here in the opposite side, but I'm, I'm, I want to wait uh, for them to fix this part uh, before working in this area because it has some maybe structural issues also. So I need to be quite careful in here. Uh, I don't think it's, it's bad, but I, I need to be careful. And I think it's better if they have uh, finished uh, what's uh, a bit on top of, of that. Anyway, I think you will see that in the next video. So thank you for having watched uh, this video. I think it was the last very tricky part to do. There are two more arches and a bit of column to work on, but they are less uh, intricate and a lot of, um, not a lot, but a few uh, straight walls to finish. So I'm in a good uh, position. I, I can see the finish line now. I'm guessing about February or March of next year, I will be done with the uh, repointing of the cellar. At this point, I will really take some, some time to think about uh, the humidity issue, where to put the dehumidifiers, maybe treating some surfaces with uh, some sealant or other coating. When I'm done with that, with the ventilation also, I will start thinking about the electricity, where I can put the outlets, electrical uh, boxes and, and the lights also. And after that, I will be able to, to think about a workshop in here. So I can't wait uh, to be here. Uh, thank you for following me on this project and I will see you next time.